Good morning, modern steaders. I'm glad to say we didn't get the tornado last night that we had a tornado warning for. What are the odds the night before you're getting ready to pull plastic on your greenhouse, you get a tornado warning for your area? Oh, it didn't happen, so I'm glad. Right now it's calm, just a very light wind. I'm going to start getting set up for pulling the plastic over on the greenhouse. Modern Figaro. Good morning, sir. We're doing two layers of plastic on our greenhouse, and then we're gonna have a blower motor in between so we have an inflation. This will help keep the greenhouse warmer longer at night. The first layer is an IR layer of plastic, and then the second layer is a clear layer of greenhouse plastic. We got a bunch of rain last night, so I wanna put some tarps down to set our poly plastic on so that way we're not getting our greenhouse plastic covered in mud before we pull it over. I'm gonna throw over our ropes. We're gonna do three ropes. We're using three eighth inch thick poly rope. Yeah, that didn't work too well. <laughs> we didn't make it very far the first toss. I think the best bet's gonna be to get up there with the ladder and just pull it over and then drag it across. That's better. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That works. I like that. Definitely some stiff rope. There we go. Nice. I get one more rope down that end. Nice. And then everybody showed up. This poly plastic is coated with a UV coating and it's directional. It says this side in on one side. So we gotta make sure that we have the right side facing in so we don't gotta take the plastic off after if we do it wrong. But also it's folded up in a Roman fold. So it's folded in half and it's folded on top of itself a few times. So we gotta unfold it, make sure we're going the right direction. And then right now we're stuffing plastic in a ball under the poly plastic. And then we're looping our rope around it and then we're tying some half hitches. And we're making sure that the rope is on the bottom of the plastic and the plastic ball is above the rope. So this way when we're pulling it over the greenhouse, we're not having our plastic catching on the ridge purlin or any of the other side purlin. So it's making pulling the plastic over easier. I'm on the end of the plastic and I got a buddy inside. We're just trying to fluff the plastic and keeping it off of the, the bows. So this way we're having less friction as we're pulling it across. And Go a little bit more. We're almost, that's good right there. How much room do you have? Right now I got about six inches hanging over. Okay, pull it a little bit your way. How about now? That's about a foot right 
Okay. So I'm going to put a couple of pieces of wiggle wire on my side first. I saw 30. Yeah, that's good. So I want to tack it with some wiggle wire. Making sure that we both have the same amount of plastic overhang on each end and then you can see the creases in the plastic we're using those as a guide and we're lining them up with our end purlins and our ridge purlin making sure that everything is straight and that the plastic is not on an angle and put another couple of pieces of wiggle wire in since we're putting two layers of plastic on we don't want to stretch the plastic and have it super tight we want to leave it a little loose so that way when we put the blower motor in between it there's going to be room for it to expand all right Yep, that last one hurts. The colder out it is, the worse it is too. Good with that reel, right? With that, yeah, yeah definitely. I tried doing that this morning and the wind blew it back in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought it, I wanna make you feel better. Feels different. Our plastic comes on a hundred foot long rolls and our greenhouse is 48 feet long so we're cutting it to 50 feet and that way we have a foot overhang on each end and then next time I need to cover the the greenhouse with new plastic we already have it here on the homestead which would be nice and the second one is just a uv coated plastic it's not the ir but it still has an inside and an outside but i don't know if you can tell right now but the plastic is a lot more see-through so this layer is going to let more sun through and that's why we're not doing two layers of ir the ir is a denser plastic so it doesn't let as much light through Is it pulling harder? No. As we're pulling the second layer over, we're going a little bit slower and we're being a little bit more cautious because we don't want to go too fast. If we do, we're afraid we'll burn through the first layer of plastic and then we'd have to start all over again. Okay, pull it your way like three. That's good. We're trying to work fast here and get one side of the plastic secured on the end wall. But it's one of those things you can only do one side at a time and again we're not trying to pull the plastic tight we just want to have it draped over the greenhouse have it taut but the, our big concern is making sure that it's laying flat like a sheet there's no wrinkles in it and then i gotta go up and down the ladder working it from side to side with the wiggle wire and holding it in place but you can only do it one side at a time because you want to make sure it's flat so i gotta get this side secured and then once this side's all secured we'll go on over to the other side and work that end wall Well, 
luckily we already had one side all wiggle wired and then the wind picked up. They must have like a big callus on the tip of their yeah. thumb. Is that tight enough through there? Yep. <laughs> now that I have both end walls secured, I can start working on the hip board on one side, get one side all nice and neat and in place, and then we can jump over and wiggle wire the other side. If you go too tight, you can rip the plastic. Yep. We got muffins. Boy, does it feel good to have both layers of plastic on the greenhouse. It took us an hour and a half to get both of the layers on and secured to this point. That went really well. I'm glad all my friends were able to come over and give me a hand because that went smooth. It's not as nice out as they were saying. It was supposed to be in the 60s today in sun. There it is getting colder out now and it actually started raining a bit. Plastic is a little loose. We want it loose because we're going to be putting a fan blower in here. We're going to have an air gap. It's going to get like a pillow. So we're going to trim this back now. It's going to go, oh, three inches ish. Need this long overhang anymore. You can hear the chickens. One of the ladies must have laid an egg. While we're right here, we're gonna cut our vent opening for our fan in. Save that, we'll probably use that somewhere. Now we can wiggle wire in this bottom track. There. All right, I like that. That'll work good. Our louvers can open. Yes, ma'am. I like it.
mystery nose cover. Nice. Oh man, does that feel good. We're not completely done yet, but we have all the plastic on. Like my friend said earlier, he's never put a roof on a house that fast. That house is the size of our house. And we got it covered and sided and roofed in a matter of hours. <laughs> I feel good that we're this far. Now if it rains, we're gonna have cover to work in. We got a lot of buttoning up still to do, but we're getting there. One thing I wanna do is I wanna take our thermometer out of our compost pile. Our compost pile is showing. Is it gonna snow? A hundred and what, 35-ish degrees? Awesome. And I wanna put this in the ground of the greenhouse and I wanna see what the temp is now and what it warms up to in the next couple of days. All right, so in the ground, the temperature is we have to let it sit for a minute. The soil temp is 60, so that's pretty good. I actually thought it was going to be colder than that, but it'll be interesting to see over the next couple of days what the soil temperature gets up to. It's supposed to be 60s and sunny today. Yeah, it's not like that out right now, but it's supposed to be almost 70 and sunny tomorrow. So I can't wait to see how quick that soil starts to warm up. Afternoon, ladies. You coming, Moose? Maverick, Goose, everybody's out. And then only one chicken stayed in the fence. That's good. How many eggs? Uh, I think there's going to be 14. I'm thinking 16. How many eggs? are you thinking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one's got a bluish color to it. Eight, that's a poopy one. Oh, and it's broken. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Would have been 13. Missing our goats. I know. Where are they hiding? It's beautiful out. They're probably hiding in the stall. Probably taking a nap. You think they're taking a nap? Yeah. I was doing the chores this morning. Good. Olivia and Gina did the chores this morning while I got set up for the greenhouse plastic. Yep. What are you doing? Exactly what I was going to say. It's nice out. Oh, look at that. Nora's hiding behind her mama. <laughs> I didn't even see her. No, what are you doing? Mama keeping you safe from all the big ladies? Huh? Mama keeping you safe? Little P, how do you have wood shavings all over your head? Huh? You silly goose. Hope. Blossom loves looking out the door. Yeah. It's her it's favorite. No, nope, it's her favorite spot. You barking at us? <sighs> All right. Let's see how many eggs Rusty and his ladies have for us. We gotta get your chicks some water oh, yeah. and some more feed. I'm gonna say two. Yep, there's two. Oh, in two three. in the same box. So that means that we got 14 today. You ladies drank all your water. You were thirsty. There you ladies go. Feed and water. Watch your tootsies, Pluto. <laughs> you want to get the meat birds a full scoop? Yeah. I'll see if they need water. Look at you, peeps. You're huge. Yeah, you drank all your water, too.
fire escape. There you go. Guys made a nice mud wallow. Yeah. Well, hopefully it dries out in a little bit and we can get you over there in some pasture. Hoping in a few days. Watch out, pigs. It's not mine, is it? No, it's not. Here, so it's not so muddy. All that rain we got last night. All right, let's get the boys some hay. Maybe they'll quiet down. It does. All right, we gotta go check on the babies. We need to come up with names for the babies. Yeah. What do you think? Huh? You doing good? Your babies are sleeping nicely. So friendly, he just gotta stay friendly. Yeah. He's getting so big. I know, he's the biggest one too. Aww. Yeah. Oh, better. Brother one looks tiny compared to brother number two. Yeah. Huh? You're huge, buddy. You're huge. Yeah. You're almost as big as Nora. Yeah. What are you doing, huh? Let's see. We ended up borrowing a rototiller so we can finish the garden. Changed up how we're going to do it. The first six rows we're gonna do this way, and then the rest of the rows, well, we'll have to save that for the video, but Gina's gotta have her section of the garden done the way she wants, and then I'll have it the way I want. Then we'll experiment throughout the year, and we'll get to see whose ways is better. It's a lot nicer now that that vent is cut out and it's not covered with greenhouse plastic. We got so much rain last night. Look at how wet it is in here now over there. The best part is we can wait to rototill until it's raining. Tomorrow it's supposed to be beautiful out so we can do some more outdoor work. And then the next day it's supposed to be raining. So that's going to be pretty neat. We'll be rototilling in the rain, staying dry. I can't wait. It was a good day on the homestead. It feels so good to have the greenhouse plastic on the greenhouse. It was a long day, but a good day. We are exhausted, but man, does it feel good. Guys, we are almost at 200,000 subscribers. When I started this channel, I never would have guessed we'd be at this many subscribers. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, now's a great time to do that. Our goal right now is, is to hit 200,000 by the end of May. So we're close. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us. You are a huge blessing to us and our homestead. We hope you guys are having a great spring and that your gardens are coming along nicely. So thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.